I just received a response from one of my viewers, and thank you for for checking in on us. Um, it says, in regards to the TurboTax and uphold uploading of your tax information, he's like, why can't you just use the 1099B that uphold sentence? Well, the quick answer is I never got one until today. And thanks for your question. So I can go ahead and show everybody else how to do it. I really appreciate it. And we're going to get into it right now. This is Antoine Anderson on the Ujama Network. Let's talk about it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up your Uphold account. And from there, we're going to go to Activity. And then select your documents up in the upper right hand corner of the first column. And select current year of your tax saving, your 1099. and download it. That's it. Now after logging into TurboTax, and we're just gonna jump right into it, um, start off with your wages and income. That's gonna be here on the left. And you're gonna go down to your investments and savings option and hit add and edit. From there, if you've already imported some of your cryptos, if you've already on different exchanges, that's cool. Just go ahead and add investment. And instead of trying to select it, because what you will notice is you will not find uphold in the list. It directs you directly to the CSV uphold. You can go ahead and enter it a different way and select the 1099B option and hit continue. From there, you just fill out the information that you received on that 1099 form and you're done after you, of course, complete the, the uh, transfer data. Now that data transfer is gonna begin by you answering a few questions do these sales uh, include any type of stock we're gonna go no do you have more than three sales with me obviously i did i was literally pulling things off like two, three times a month so yes more than four that's gonna cost me um then we're gonna go ahead does do these sales include any other type of investments no this was all crypto so i'm just gonna go no and did you buy every investment listed? Yes, and then you hit continue. You can go one by one, which is what I'm not gonna do, or you can go by the sales selection totals and hit continue. It's gonna look for your sales on your 1099B, find all sales within each section, with any sales and make sure let's go ahead and hit continue all right sales section all of these are going to be listed on that last page of your 1099b and i'll let you take a look at that right here Now here's where it gets real tricky. Not tricky, but this is the most important part. Let's take a, take a look at it. First and foremost, you're gonna go over to your uh, sales section and you're gonna select the type of sale. This is what we're talking about, our short term, and then we're gonna have one for our long term. So let's do the short term first. And looking at your sheet, you're gonna have the exact amount for all of your different cryptos that you have totaled up, the sum of all of it. So you go ahead and pull that up and you're gonna pop that in there. And that's gonna be box D and then what you have for your box sales. And this is what it kind of looks like right here.
And just remember to do the same thing for any long-term investments or cryptos that you had. And then confirm it. And that's it. I want to thank the um, question from one of my viewers. And I really do appreciate it because I've held off on pushing my own out just to make sure that I didn't miss any forms. Just like the case here is I literally just got that this month. So, um, yeah, thank you for that. And I uh, hope you guys like the video. Please like, subscribe, and uh, let me know what you think. I'll talk to you later.